Minnesota's Attorney General now warning fans still looking to grab tickets. Look out for any scams. Yeah, and today, Fox 9's Rob Olson spoke with somebody affected by these scams. He's live at U.S. Bank Stadium where Swift will be performing later this week. And Rob, his warning is very much twofold here. Yeah, one of his warnings is to beware of any Facebook posts or Facebook marketplace posts that look very legitimate and uh, vet them out and to watch your own Facebook account as well because his got hijacked, was used to scam other people and now he's been actively trying to get his Facebook account deactivated and also trying to prove to everybody that it didn't come from him. I can't tell you the amount of stress and frustration this whole thing has been. When Brian Keister searches for himself on Facebook and he is no longer there. So it looks like, at least for the moment, it's taken down. The sense of relief is enormous because his profile was used in a scam. Exactly. I mean, it's my face, it's my picture, my name, my information, everything used by somebody else to take advantage of innocent, hardworking people. Walls of insincerity. Scams involving Taylor Swift tickets have been reported across the country and some very similar to how Brian became unwittingly involved. It began five weeks ago when he got messages from Facebook saying a new email had been added to his account originating in Bulgaria. He clicked, this wasn't me, but got no response. Locked out from his profile, he then sent multiple messages to Facebook through their help center. Did you get any response? I still, to this day, have not received any sort of response. None? None. Nothing at all. Then a week ago, friends sent him this screenshot of a post that came from his account selling four tickets to Swift. His sister then called, saying a scammed buyer messaged her trying to track him down after sending $1,500. They're getting control of these accounts so that they can fool you into thinking it's a real person, when in reality, it's not. It's, it's a scam. But also to watch your own Facebook account, because he feels so victimized, too. For the moment, I'm incredibly happy that it's not up and, you know, scamming more people, but I'd also like to know, is the situation actually resolved? Yeah, he has no idea if it's Facebook that deactivated his account after his messages to them, or if it's potentially the hackers that hijacked his account who deactivated it in order to cover their tracks. He's still trying to get through to Facebook, and he said the customer service element here is incredibly challenging. He did report this to his local police department in Woodbury so that they have a record of it, especially if others come to them to report him. He reported it to the FBI online as well and was planning to get a hold of the attorney general's office and trying to get this whole thing resolved again. A strong warning to others. Live in Minneapolis, Rob Olson, Fox 9. Ah, so frustrating.